Well, look at you two standing there all dark and brooding. Hey, Ollie. Oliver, thank you for coming. It's not every day that I get a call for help from the Batman. I was a bit shocked, though. You never call for help. You said you wanted to help the little guy. This is your chance. What's going on? Somebody blew up one of Penguin's warehouses last night. A front for his fencing operation. We're wasting time. Is it just me, or is he a little more pensive than usual? He's still a little shaken up from what happened with the Scarecrow. Did he ever mention what he saw? Nope. Come on. Start looking for clues. Man, somebody shorted a number on this place. Any idea who? The police managed to apprehend a suspect by the name of Benjamin No Fear Affleck. He was wearing Two-Face's colors. Two-Face did this? Unlikely. It's not his usual M.O. Oracle, I found some residue from the explosive. It's not registering a match. Run it through every available database. Checking now. It appears to be some kind of compound similar to grade-A military explosives. I'll let you know when I'll have more answers. Oracle, any updates on the thug the police have in custody? He's an ex-mercenary. Explosive specialist. No known affiliations to Two-Face or any other Gotham-based criminal. Got it. Thanks. There's one more thing. Another robbery of high-tech equipment was just reported. We'll deal with it later. Batman out. So what? Two-Face hired this guy to muscle in on Penguin's turf? I don't think so. A turf war won't be in anyone's best interest. This was a setup. Who would be crazy enough to cross both the Penguin and Two-Face? Don't know. You two go and talk to the Penguin. Tell him this wasn't Two-Face, and not to retaliate. What about you? I'll pay Dent to visit. We just want to talk to Cobblepot. I don't think they're interested in what you have to say. Enough! Stand down, gentlemen. My dear fellows, may I ask why you've decided to disturb everyone here this fine evening? We're here to talk to you, Cobblepot. About what? Pray tell. Your warehouse that was turned to dust. Full of contraband material? Ring any bells? My boy, I have no idea what you're talking about. I am a legitimate businessman, and that warehouse was simply a storage facility for my rare and collectible items. That were purchased legally, I might add. Sure it was. Two-Face isn't behind the bombing. So if you have any ideas about going after him, don't. Gentlemen, that life is behind me. If Two-Face is involved or not, that is a matter for the police. Rest assured, there is nothing an honest citizen like myself could do. That better be true. We'll be watching. Are we just gonna let him go, boss? Yes. We have other plans. Set up a meeting with Two-Face. It seems I have a favor to return. <laughs>